Oh, hi. Just playing with my Tamagotchi. Sorry. Hi, beautiful. We're back with the pink. Back with the classics. That means we need bleach fails. Like, oh, uh, I'm in the mood for it. I want to see some powder be mixed with some 30 or 40 volume developer and put on incorrectly today so I can let out <sighs> some steam. I mean, look, a part of me feels like it's wrong to want it like a bleach fail, but a part of me feels like it's just so right. And it's just so entertaining to see the crazy sh that people did with their hair. It's mind blowing to me. You could have not done that more incorrectly. And it never stops being fascinating five years later. Let's watch some people do some crazy sh with some bleach on their own heads. You got a whole lot of chest out today, huh? Ooh, boy. It's a whole lot of chest. First video is by Maddie Lambert. I absolutely hate my hair right now. I hate that my roots are showing and it's just really bad and it's making me look horrible. Maddie, I've felt that feeling many times. I'm here with you. What I'm going to do is dye my hair. I'm ready to get the bleach on my head, but I got two packs of this platinum hair dye. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't make my hair lighter than it actually is. Maybe I'll just put it on my whole head. We're already starting off strong with some crazy sh going on. <laughs> You get that? I don't know what is in that box set. One day I should go buy it because I really want to actually know, like literally like what is the developer? I don't think anybody really knows. I feel like they would definitely throw some 40 volume in there and like really blast the cuticle open as much as possible. But I also got this gloss that's like a toner kind of. <coughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna start out by brushing out and sectioning my hair into four sections. Whoa, did I hear? The word section? Maybe I'm judging too soon. Maybe this could be okay. We are sectioning the hair. I always don't wash my hair for two days before I get it dyed or dye it myself. Great idea. That way it doesn't burn the shit out of your scalp. So we are just gonna brush this out. I've had it in a messy bun all day, so it's a mess. And I know all of you are probably like really shocked that I'm actually brushing my hair, but you know what happens sometimes? So, my hair is brushed out and now I'm gonna section it out. Holy sh girl, hello, <laughs> calm down with that brush. <laughs> Chill out. We don't need to rip our hair out like that. That was V aggressive. I'm gonna start from the bottom. I honestly don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I feel like that's gonna be easiest for me. Yes, start from the bottom. It's the easiest to lay the hair on top as you go instead of flipping it over, you know what I mean? Start down here, great idea. Oh my God, it doesn't have a root brush. Let's hope the toner has a root brush. Oh my god, it doesn't. This is Everly's play spatula, and it's gonna have to work. Look what I just- Oh, thank god! I thought she was about to use a play spatula to color her hair, but we got a, we got a tint brush. We got one. We did it. The packages are tiny. What is that about to color? A f Barbie? That is such a small amount of product, I probably couldn't even do my own hair with that. She's screwed. So I'm gonna start at the very bottom. Okay, how are we doing this? Is she just gonna go in like that? <laughs> There's no way this is gonna turn out good. Absolutely not. Oh no! Ah, it's not even getting in there. Guys, guys, guys! You gotta lift the hair up and like pull down a section at a time. You feel me? Like we can't just do do do. Like there has to be some kind of technique to it. What I would recommend is taking horizontal sections, paper thin sections as you go up the head. I hope she's using like a 20 volume with lightener for this. Her hair is not that dark naturally. So she doesn't need 30 volume or 40 volume and she's lightening her roots. So she's gonna get that heat from the scalp which is gonna lighten it even better and faster and clearer. This is what happens when I don't put my I'm rubbing it in. Oh, no, 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 no. It's definitely gonna have to go down the whole strand. Oh my god, I'm ruining my hair. Oh. Literally probably paid about a thousand dollars in total getting my hair dyed. Just because I get it dyed so often. Girl, you are wrecking your hair right now. Please have a better technique there. She's basically just putting the liner over everything and then just like mushing it through on her roots, which is gonna overlap on the existing lightened pieces, which is not going to be cute. So I think my strategy here is once I get the bleach all over my head, I'm just gonna rub it into my roots with my hands. That is the absolute worst idea. Just wanted to let you know. How do you say his name? Is it Brad Mondo? I really don't think it's that. It's something. Wait, what? What were they saying about me? I think his name is Brad Mondo. She goes, I really don't think it's that. It's Brad Mondo. That's the name. It's not Brandon. People call me Brandon a lot, which is a whole different thing, but it's Brad. <sighs> I didn't finish the bath. Are you kidding me? No. 
And I tell you to go back up. Oh God, you missed a huge spot right there. The friend has finally been able to help. I trust the friend more than I trust you. I feel like she would do a better job. I know for a fact that she's gonna rinse this color out and there is going to be spots of darkness everywhere. Everywhere. You, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, get into it. No, she didn't. She just took a scoop of bleach, went like this, and then just put it all in there. Ah! Got our huge glob of bleach. Yeah, get into it. Oh <laughs> yeah. my f god. Every single root? It's over for every root. No, no, no. It's over for your hair, not just your roots. <laughs> oh my god, why would you do that? You are overlapping. You're gonna have banding where there's lighter spots and then there's yellow ends, there's yellow roots, and everything's gonna be mismatched. <sighs> Next time, you need to go section by section. Perfectly divide the hair. Paint that root, flip the section. Paint that root. Take your time. It'll actually be faster if you take your time because it's when you don't do it right where you have to like redo things, buy more lightener. It's more expensive to redo it. It takes more time. Take your time in the first place. My hair is fully developed and it feels so dead. I don't know if I'm missing any spots, but y'all will see if I am. Oh, I'm going to shower and wash this out. And then I have this toner that's like really gray. So hopefully it works. Time for the reveal of how the bleach did. So she used the Kristen S gloss, which I'm not like mad about. I don't really know what is in that gloss or like what it's comprised of. Like I'm sure there's violet pigment in there to cancel out the yellow in her hair since it was like a cool tone gloss, but I'm really not sure what it is, but I'm glad she used a gloss and didn't just like use permanent color or something. So I'll give her that one. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Oh. Uh, the toner can't fix. Oh, no. Banding is like the worst thing ever, actually. Banding sucks. Because next time you go and get your hair uh, double processed at a salon, it's going to cost a lot to fix that banding. Uh -huh. And it's going to be not fun for the hairstylist. We did good for an at-home bleach job. So what I'm going to do next, tone my hair. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Do not ever brush your hair like that after lightening it. That is so stressful. Oh, your hair is so fragile at the state when it's wet and when it's just lightened and overlapped a million times with lightener. Don't do that. Yeah, it's falling out. <laughs> oh, well, no f It's okay though, because we're blonde again. Oh, no, no. Oh, holy sh So much is falling out, oh my God. God. Oh my God, spray some like conditioning mist in there, like anything, like put some conditioner in there. Stop yanking it like that. And also use a detangling brush. Oh my God. I guess that's just what happens when you use bleach, right? No. Or maybe it's just, maybe I'm brushing too hard. Maybe you are. Maybe that's the f reason. We've got our toner. It says just put it all over your head. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start at my roots though. Usually my hairdresser goes through with um, toner like she does the bleach, like she does section by section, but we're just applying this like this. But we're not doing that. Why would we do it right when we could do it wrong? She needs all kinds of things. She needs to relighten those roots. She needs to get a toner on the roots first and then bring it down to the end so everything turns out even. We definitely have some banding. It can't go that bad. That toner was definitely not dark enough at all. Now for the final, final reveal. Oh, shit. Oh. It looks exactly the same. That toner did literally nothing for me. No. I need to get rid of the banding. The banding's really bad on top. Oh. But other than that, I think it's okay. Okay. Horrible. The roots are just really brassy and banded, but I guess we're done here. Let's not do that anymore. That's all I have to say. This next video is by Danny Caliero. Going into Sally's right now. Gonna get everything. 
Okay, I saw some 30 volume, some powder lightener. I think that's a great decision since her hair is quite dark and she's doing her entire head. Like virgin application moment, it's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of patience. No, you don't have enough on your brush. <laughs> Daddy, he can't, I'm sorry. I'm way too much of a control freak and he way doesn't know what he's doing. Yes. Come in, you just flicked it into my eyeball. Oh! How do we end up here? No, 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 don't pull so hard. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Oh no. Already off to a bad start. Oh, oh. We fully went in with the lightener and put it all over the head with no technique. <laughs> we need to lay out each section. We need to go in with extremely thin slices of hair. Lay that lightener on the mids and ends, okay, okay, okay. Get it on every single piece in four quadrants. This is important, guys. Once that is lightened to a good pale yellow, this is a little more advanced. Like, I would also have put foils in, on every piece, but I just know that's not gonna happen at home, so I'm not even gonna tell you to do that, but you would have got a better result if you like did smaller slices and went through the entire head more evenly. Um, and then did the roots after the ends have processed to a nice, like, bright yellow color. That would give you even color results. This way, there's just no way there's gonna be even colors. It's just not possible. And if it happens, I will be shook the house sound boots. The bleach is in. My head is on fire. This is horrible, literally a horrible feeling. I don't know if my hair is gonna get light enough, so I might have to do it twice. Who knows? She has quite quite fragile hair. Like you can tell it's fine and, and fragile and I am scared she's about to lose some of it. Here's the update. It's bleach, it's not conditioned, so it feels like, it feels like, hey, that's a really good definition. I'm going to do a little more bleach. That <laughs> makes sense. But we're just gonna lighten this area right here. And that's it. We're not touching any other part of my hair because it's done and it doesn't need to be lightened anymore and it would legitimately fall out if I did. Oh, no, 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 no. She's going back on it with more lightener and like, I just know there's gonna be some overlapping in there, guys. I can't stress enough the fact that you can't overlap. If you don't know what I mean by overlapping, like that means when something is lightened already, don't go and re-lighten it accidentally because you're trying to get a different section and you accidentally overlap on the previous lightened section. No, 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 no. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> Oh my god. We need to lighten those mids and ends again. They are so orange. Please do not leave those out. It looks fine. Like, it looks mostly even. But health-wise, I don't know what went wrong. Like, I only bleached my hair one and a half times. It wasn't like I did four times or something. I feel like I've seen a lot of, like, bleaching fail videos. And whenever they, like, over bleach their hair, it's because they do it too many times or something. And I only did it once. So first we bleached it, and we did it for, like, third. Actually, it was probably, like, an hour. That's probably why. Because she went from the back to the front. It doesn't actually matter how many times you lighten your hair. Like that's not the deciding factor if your hair is going to be damaged or not. It's really if your hair can handle it. I can literally lighten my hair 15 times in a row and it will not fall out. Other people, you do it once, it all falls out. It's just a difference in hair texture a lot of the time. There were still some yellow parts. So she did the yellow parts, but then she wanted to like run it through the whole thing with really watered down bleach solution. And I was like, okay, I mean, it was already really light, but she wanted to make it lighter. So we did it and now I'm scared. It hasn't fully dried yet because I slept with it in coconut oil and in the little like wrap to protect my hair and it wasn't fully dry when I woke up. Oh, babe. That is the telltale sign that your hair is dead. It's damaged beyond belief. When your hair doesn't dry, that's a terrible, terrible sign that you need to cut your hair off. That is because your hair is so porous and so in need of moisture. It literally just grabs onto those water molecules and does not want to let go. It's like, please, like, please keep me moist. Please don't dry. Like that's what it's doing. No need to bleach it again. So I'm not doing that. So I'm not worried for that. I'm just worried for how it's going to look when it's dry. It feels like numb. I don't know what to do about this. I guess we're just gonna do a haircut now and then we're gonna put color in and I'll be done. But I'm really scared of how it's gonna look when it's dry. Okay, here's the plan. Stop lightening it. Do a beautiful gloss on there at like a level eight and a seven root. It'll be lighter. Doing a darker root with lighter ends gives you a contrasty look that makes your hair look lighter than it is, if that makes sense. But I don't think being a platinum blonde double process is the life for you. Let's not do that. We got a comb, we got scissors, and we have a clip. Emma is gonna give me a bob. Oh my god, he's doing the bob. He's doing the bob. What are you doing? Are you combing it? <gasps> 
Is that from just now? Look, that's just, that's just now. Are you sure? Yeah, that's so. just my hair coming off. You just got off a lot of hair. This isn't good. I did it. Did you do it straight? I mean, I do know what I'm doing, but... No, you don't. Did you do it straight? Yeah. You're gonna cry. How's it looking? I'm so nervous. You know, I accidentally cut that one a little short. It's okay. We're looking good, honey. I'm trying to get into my uh, hairstylist lingo. I'm actually doing pretty good, I think. Oh, that was a big chunk. No, you need to be sectioning my hair, dude. My goal is for Brad Mondo to react to this and freak out. <laughs> I'm here and I'm freaking out. Why aren't you sectioning my hair? I don't know how to section hair. Yes, you do. I just told you what to do. Please be careful, Emin. You're not being careful at all. You're pissing me off right now. <gasps> Emin. What? Oh. oh my God. Do you guys see this? <laughs> is this not a fun video anymore? This has been a stressful video from... from the get -go. The second I started bleaching my hair. Let me see. There's no way this is even. Oh, okay, okay. It's not that bad. You need layers in there. That will help get rid of that damage on those ends. All you're doing right now is getting rid of the damage on the length, but we need to get rid of the damage in here. My ends are fine. Like these are not crunchy. They're not crispy. My roots also not. But this section right here, just of this upper part of my hair. Overlapping. It's because the color was overlapped in that spot. This color is called Stoned Pony. No, you ready? Good. You can look. I'm nervous. It looks like a really cool color. It is pastel. This is not how you're supposed to put color in. How do you do it? You're supposed to at least do half it at a time. What do you mean half? Like, put half my hair up and do the bottom and then put it down and do the rest. That sounds like a better idea than just dumping the stuff on the top of your head. Hi, this is my hair. Oh my God, guys, it's been a long time coming. What? It was feeling really crunchy and crispy and bad, but now it's fine. And for some reason, when I put the dye in and when I washed it and everything, it just kind of all came together and now it looks great. Wait, what? Why does it look phenomenal? I mean, I really want to see like the whole thing like down. I love my hair. I think it's awesome. I'm really excited about it. And I hope you guys like it too. The end result is awesome and I feel like it just makes me more interesting looking like I feel like I don't look boring anymore so thanks for watching guys okay so this is her hair down and honestly this is the best case scenario for her I'm so happy she didn't try and like keep it blonde and like fix things and whatever because it would have just kept getting worse <laughs> I'm so happy she ended up doing this lavender color because it looks dope it looks so good with her skin she looks so fresh and so cute I love the haircut everything somehow came all together and I literally literally have no idea how. You guys always find a way of shocking me. Don't shock. Your way of scaring the shit out of me and shocking me. What did we learn today? If you're gonna do it, God, just section the damn hair out. That's what we learned today. And just stop and chill out. Stop trying to rush it. If you guys would like to shop some of my hair care or my hair color products so your hair doesn't fall out like these girls today, you can do so. With the link down below or head to xmodohair.com. There's so much stuff. We have hair masks, hair glosses, we have hair colors, we have <gasps> shampoos, conditioners, we have curly hair products, we have oils, everything you could possibly imagine. You can follow me anywhere else here or get some hair inspiration on X Mono Hair Instagram or X Mono Color Instagram. It's lit over there. You can check out another video. My chest is not out in any other video like this, so I'm sorry, you will not get more of my chest. Or nipple. <laughs> or you can hit the like button down below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.